Personal story segment tonight, will Congresswoman Michelle Bachman run for president in the first quarter of this year? She raised $2.2 million. By contrast, Mitt Romney raised $1.9 million. Ms. Bachman has been in Iowa recently. She was born and raised there. And has told the media she's very interested in the 212 presidential election. Joining us now from Washington is Michelle Bachman. So, do you want to make an announcement tonight, Congressman, to uh, the world <laughs> on what you're going to do? That would be good. Well, thank you. Maybe we'll do that sometime in the future, but I haven't made the decision yet. Probably sometime this summer. So, why you go to Iowa, though? Why would you bother going there and shaking hands? And you're a busy lady, and uh, you, you go out there, and you... You are campaigning or politicking out there. Why would you do that? Well, because I've been here in the front lines fighting against all of the gargantuan growth of government for the last five years that we definitely need a change. And I've been in the early primary states talking to the prospective voters about how we can, how we cannot afford a second but term. But why go to the Barack early Obama. primary states? Why, why are you there? Well, because they're the ones that will make a crucial decision about who our nominee will be. I personally believe we do have a very strong opportunity to make Barack Obama one-term president. They're very crucial voters, so I want to talk to them about the issues. And in the course of that, I've been urged by a number of people in the states to actually consider running, and we're in the process of doing that. Okay, so you are considering running for the presidency. Now, what qualifies you? It's very hard, as you know, for a congressperson um, to get elected president. It's usually senators or uh, governors or, you know, that kind of a, a deal. But why, why would you be more qualified than the other hundreds of Congress people to be president? Well, I agree. It is unusual. Usually it is a governor or a senator. But I think what people are looking for is someone who's new and different and someone who's a known quantity as a fighter against the political establishment of Washington, D.C. And I have credentials there. I spent my five years in Washington, D.C. fighting against the gargantuan growth of government and against the political class. I'm a former federal tax lawyer. I worked uh, in the United States tax court. I also am a business, a successful business person. We created jobs in Minnesota, and I also have a background in state government in Minnesota as well. I'm a reformer, a principled reformer, and I've fought on behalf of the people that I serve, and that's what I believe that people are looking for, a practical, principled, reform-minded individual who will stand strong in some really tough fights, even if it means only serving as a one-term president. We need someone who's going to stand strong for the folks back home. Do you have the frame of reference to deal with complicated issues like China trade? like uh, Iran nuclear, um, like the unintended consequences. We had Donald Trump on last week. I don't know whether you saw that or not. But Mr. Trump is running uh, almost on the same lines you are, that the government has to be reformed, that he's an outsider, um, that he will take bold stances, and this, that, and the other thing. But the frame of reference required in this world is so extensive, and I think that's where Barack Obama ran into trouble, that he just doesn't have the experience level to deal with a China when China's devaluing its, uh, you know, its currency and playing all kinds of games and then Iran is doing this and trying to dominate the Gulf and backdoor and all of that. Do you have the frame of reference to do that? Well, I, again, I haven't made the decision, but I do have a very broad, extensive background. I'm a student of many years. I, I've studied a number, a wide berth of, of topics. I sit currently on the Intelligence Committee. We deal with the classified secrets and with the unrest that's occurring around the world. I also be celebrating my 55th birthday, wow. and I've had a, I've, I've had a wide, extensive uh, life. And again, my background is a very practical, solution-oriented. Okay, and so you're a problem visage. solver. Now you know the I press am. is going to go after you. You made that gaffe in uh, a speech where you said Lexington and Concord were in New Hampshire, when of course they're in Massachusetts. Number one, what happened there? And number two, are you prepared for the onslaught of vicious press? Well, I did. I made a mistake, and I promised I would never again use President Obama's teleprompter, and I intend to keep that <laughs> promise. But um, I, 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 I'm used to vicious press. I come from a state that is um, what you might call a liberal state, and the press hasn't necessarily been on my side, but that hasn't bothered me okay, at so all. Okay, so you're, you're because, prepared for the Sarah oh, Palin type attacks that will come your it's way. The, it's and the why way did you make that are, Lexington actually, and Concord mistake? What happened there? Pardon me? What happened with the Lexington and Concord mistake? What, what had happened there? Well, it was a mistake, and I, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, so we're going to leave it at that. But I, the important thing to know is that no one endured well, more wait, negative wait, wait, press. To, you know, no spin no zone, one so. endured more negative press bill than, than Ronald Reagan, and the American people were able to see okay, through that. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm taking from your answer there, just for curiosity purposes, is that somebody wrote that. Uh, you probably didn't read over your stuff, and that's how it came out. Correct? 
I'm not going to throw anybody ah, under the bus. I take I full responsibility, right. Right, and we're me, just going to move right. on from there. Tell me, I'm a I'm a pinhead if I if I if I didn't characterize that right. Tell <laughs> I me would never say that. All right. Never. Say now that. Uh, we like you. We think you're an honest woman. We think you've done a great job in in many uh, in Minnesota. Um, but I, I just worry that the viciousness of this campaign, uh, Congresswoman. Um, it's very vicious, Bill. Yeah, it's going to be as that's vicious a, as, a, as we've ever seen in this country. It will. It will. There's no question because, again, what we're looking at is someone who would be coming up against Barack Obama. Yep. That, that's what we're looking at. And we need somebody who's going to be very, very strong, very tough, and willing to take on these arguments and these debates. During my time here in Washington, D.C., I have been unafraid to take on each one of these debates, whether it's the bailouts, the stimulus, or today dealing with the current unrest in the Middle East. All right. Well, good luck to you, Congresswoman. I appreciate you coming on the program. And if you want to make an announcement, you've got the forum here anytime you want it. Thank you very much.